So remember, we did that little technique. We found the definition of a radian. And basically all the radian is, is the radius wrapped around the circle. And notice that the angle measurement is just the number one. It's not one degree, it's just one. One radian. It tells us that we're rotating our rays, the measurement of the radius wrapped around the circle, which is again talked about as a radian. Then we talked about, remember we did this activity, we said, well, how many radiuses can we wrap around to get halfway around a circle? And we did that little activity, and what we found, or what we discovered, was that halfway around a circle was pi radius, right? And so if halfway around a circle was pi, then all the way around a circle was 2 pi, right? We're good on understanding right now. And if I said, well, if halfway around is pi, then half of that would be 1 half pi, or what we'd call pi halves. And again, we're measuring the angle as the rotation of these rays. Okay? But what, I want, what we're going to investigate is what you guys have noticed. What I asked you guys to graph over there, what we had over here, the only thing we've talked about in radians have been numbers. Well, now what we're going to talk about is how to do radians and what we call terms of pi. And this is what we've talked about in terms of pi as well. But kind of breaking up pi into halves is kind of like our introduction because we can break it up not even into halves, but we could break it up into quarters. So therefore, the rotation from my initial side to my terminal side is, well, if all the way around there's a pi and I broke it up into fourths, then that means that's pi is one-fourth, that rotation. You could also break it up into thirds. And you could also break it up into six. Now, do you guys remember fractions? Remember when we learned fractions? A lot of you guys might have been like me, where your teacher might have used pies and cakes and candy bars to represent fractions, right? We could cut fractions, just depends on how many times you want to cut it up, right? So would it make, does it, is it possible for us to break this up into like pi over 12 or pi over 7 or pi over 50 if we wanted to, right? Those are all angles. It just means it's going to be half of the circle broken up into that many parts. However, these six are going to be the most common angles or in terms of pi angles that we're going to use, okay? But I might, you know, never hold anything against you or me if I give you something that is not in terms of those angles. 